Okay, for today's 10 minute tie, we're going to tie another simple fly called the glitter bug. Um, again, it's a very effective fly, great for pike in, uh, in this size and the smaller size. On a 2.0, you also get some decent perch as well as pike, so it's a good all round pattern. Uh, this one we're going to tie on a 4.0 hook, so it's aimed specifically at pike. Okay, so first we're going to take our olive thread, just put a short base down. Slip off the uh, the ends. I like to take this one just past the hook point. Okay, so next we're going to take our Magnum Flashaboo holographic Flashaboo. Cut off a reasonable length. And take this about halfway, the halfway point, and just put in a couple of loose threads and then spin that around the hook shank so you get an even distribution. Pull down on that, fold the forward facing butts back. and then tie down securely and then at this point you want to take your raccoon zonker strips tie in the end tag Bind that down securely, bring your thread forward and then at this point I'll just add some super glue. Just keep everything secure and I'll bring that up to the point where I want my first colour of raccoon zonka strips to finish. And then all you need to do is wind that forward, stroke the fibres back as you go along keep it out of the glue where possible keep winding forward keep winding forward And then when you've reached a point where your first bit of super glue ends, and just wind your thread backwards. And then tie off. You might just need to part this raccoon zonker a bit so you can see where you're going. couple of tight turns, bind it down and snip off. Pull all the fibres back and then tie that down nice and secure. And then take your next colour olive in this case and again tie it in nice and tight Oops. advance your thread forward towards the head Add some super glue. Just keep everything nice and secure. Start wrapping forwards. 
again pulling the fibres back as you go forward then when you get to the head of the fly try and part the material tie in a couple of tight wraps snip off Pull everything back. Tie in a nice head there. Again, you can either whip finish that. Well, what I like to do is just take some UV resin holding the fibres back give it a blast with the UV pen Snip that end off, and then again, add some more resin. Hit it with the uh, UV torch, so a few turns, that's tack free, good to go. I don't add eyes to this fly because I don't want to restrict the movement of this raccoon zonka fur. That's a great fly for pike. Dead easy to tie.